snobby about the X Factor or Britain's Got Talent and all that. It's obviously from the most people in Josh and I have to admit I watch the X Factor as well. I've got to the beginning because I get snobby about the laughing at the vulnerable people but then I get into the what talks about it. I think we do know it needs much more than X Factor and I actually think actually ITV and Simon Kibble will be doing themselves a big favour and if quite a lot of that money actually got put back into the arts. And I think actually that could be a good campaign for everybody and everybody who is uh, responding to the X Factor and part of you know, two million people who have already involved in that. We just need a percentage of that that came out that degree. But actually, as well as it's quite a contrived way of seeing, uh, you've got to sing in a different special a certain way, you've got to look a certain way. And you can see that from the very beginning where the actual spectacle is really laughing at the vulnerable people, laughing at the people who really, some of you should tell one of my mothers, or some of you should tell me you haven't had one forever. For this, and I have for something else, but also, there is a bit I think, uh, as a little more learning disabilities, as a little mental health problems, as a little bit more very vulnerable, you get to up to last that, and I actually think that is, um, I think that's really go well, quite disgusting. And then when we get on to the actual bit of the finalist, it's very contrived, and I think if that was their only culture that Britain or Scotland could come up with, I think it would be a very uh, impoverished uh, society. So I'm, I, I think that's great, but I actually, that, I think that's one of the reasons why I go involved in the Edinburgh People Festival. So we, can, we do have like power competitions and all that, but there are other things that people can get involved in. And the I actually think the thing is the cooperation of, of um, the multinational part of the it just makes millions and millions more profit for people who don't need any more profit. And I think that could be, you know, quite good if some of that got pumped back. And, and I think we're much better because there's much more community arts projects. I think there's much more talent out there than the talent that we get given to us on our television. And I, and I can try horrible way actually that it's not the best humanity. The thing, the thing about it, uh, it is, it's a popular culture, and it's a global popular culture. I actually think it's quite good that we have culture at the level of the world. Uh, that we put the full into the world and we get a little bit um, The problem, the limiting factor of the, the, the culture like this is how to specialize and require a lot of money. Uh, so, how do people at the community level, at the individual level, insert themselves into the process of making that culture? And I, I saw a very, a very selfish lesson many years ago uh, a long time. I found some money to give to video and film. And there was a big discussion in, in, in the capital. And we thought they, were, they wanted money to make documentaries about the And actually people wanted the money to make a movie. Uh, and I thought, well, that's not the way to do it. Uh, and I thought, well, that's never. So, I mean, I, 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 I think one, one of the things that we have to do is to ensure that uh, whoever wins the election, that we have to pump more money into providing the facilities and the skills for people to participate in popular culture as well as in arts. They all come down, they all feed off one another. Uh, so, I, I think uh, uh, community radio um, pumping more money into to the plan to the young stuff and pump more money into uh, uh, some of young people to make uh, uh, videos. I think going in that direction is very, very important. Thank you. Yep, I, she's like, all the funding, I think, pop factors are brilliant. Don't protect them that way, don't protect them that way, don't protect them that way. Charge a couple of things to get you in and say, right, on my. Such as uh, having to look at that a certain way, and you're probably supposed to folks who don't really need it. I'd say the girl Boyle works at Blackburn, Susan Boyle doing pretty well. She doesn't look a particular, a particular way, and she certainly become incredibly wealthy from a pretty poor background. Uh, so, you know, that this, and I would say an example of her is an example of the transformational power of, of the arts. You know, she's took part in some tests, and actually her life has transformed. And it is, and she's quite an example to a. Uh, it's going down, it's going down, but uh, 
Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.